uh, here at the uh, Cayman, uh, Cayman Bay uh, booth uh, with a good guy, John uh, Hillman. John, uh, I, I think I'm going to start with the Island Living Show. Sure. This is the third year that the Cayman Bay has hosted the Island Living Show. Uh, we sort of like partnered up. What does it mean to, uh, to Cayman Bay? Well, it's, it's like everything. Every week we hope to be host for many activities, and this is just one of those signature activities throughout the year that we hope people will come experience experience Kamana Bay and actually take in this great facility. It's an amazing place by day for the kids and on the weekends the adults like us get to enjoy it and uh, I think people enjoy the venue. It's easy to get to from the from the roads. Uh, the parking's great and um, hopefully we'll have a full parking lot this year. Well I'd like to also sell everyone and also I'm going to let you do it in just a second. So many new things since last year. When I walked around Kamana Bay I saw new restaurants. I saw Last night I walked around after the show. Yeah. Man, Artinique and, and, and they were rammed up. What's new and what's going to be exciting coming up? No, that's great. It's just tip of the iceberg. There's more coming. We've got three new uh, venues coming here in the next couple weeks. Got a new juice store, a new yogurt store. Uh, Carew is coming. It's another creation by Marcus and Neil from Abacus. And we've got Champion House by the Bay coming. So we're excited to have local purveyor coming in, you know, having that cuisine here and having different ranges of price point for people to enjoy. So. Sure just tip of the iceberg. It's more All right, well, let's get to uh, what you're highlighting this year in your booth. Uh, I'm going to just turn, it, turn you over. I see a beautiful picture back here. Yeah. What is this? No, we're pretty excited about this. And, you know, our story's getting bigger, so our booth is getting bigger. So <laughs> I think we've doubled our size this year. Um, this is a scene of the first neighborhood of Kamana Bay. And in the distance, you can see the current town center. The idea... That, that, that's where we are now. That's where we are now. And the idea is that you, you're never going to have to leave the... Uh, the walking path along the waterfront so you can actually make your way all the way down the wow. waterfront all the way to your home. So whether you live on the water or whether you live back by the school, you're always going to have this ability to come into town via the water. Wasn't that the, uh, I guess you could say the theme of, or, or the projection of how uh, they wanted it to be, where you could just walk through the whole place? Completely. It's why well, I was a little late to this interview. I was walking here, uh, got tied <laughs> up in traffic uh, on my feet. But no, it's great. The whole idea is a pedestrian-friendly experience. You can come by, by the waterfront. You can come by the streets. All of our streets have two sets of sidewalks, lots of shade coverage. So it makes that walking pedestrian yeah. Experience very very friendly and very easy to get get around. All right, uh, I was talking with uh, uh, Paul Young just a little bit ago. He said, "Yeah, you know, we're sort of uh, highlighting Salt Creek too." Tell us about that. No, we are. You know, Dart has uh, a series of portfolio projects that would that that Kamana Bay is one. Salt Creek is another. We have uh, other commercial properties around the island. Salt Creek is a wonderful enclave. It's it's a traditional neighborhood here and came in with, you know, quarter acre to third acre size lots. You can build a, a really beautiful home on the waterfront. And now that um, we own some of the surrounding lands, we're excited about what that's going to mean for Salt Creek as a neighborhood. So, yeah, and it looks like the road's going to get better, so it's get easier to get in and out. That's it. Yeah, that's it. The road extension from the bypass will get there. Um, Yacht Club Drive is going to get improved. So there's there's some exciting things in the works for uh, some of our other neighborhoods as well. I cannot finish or wrap up this with talk a little bit about the uh, the new center. Tell us a little bit about the new center and what's going on there. The, the new center. Yeah, the new uh, welcome center. Oh, the, the Discovery Center. Yeah, the Dis Discovery Center. The, sorry, the Discovery Center we opened just about a year anniversary. Right. It is the place to come in when you right. want to learn anything about Kamada Bay. It's highly interactive. Even our booth here has a piece of that interactive technology. And it's uh, it's truly the place to come to learn what's happening at Kamada Bay. So whether it's weekly events, homes, new businesses, we've got several new anchor tenants coming in. Morant Ozans is coming. Aeon's coming. And that just feeds the engine of, of, of life here. So we're excited about all the things that are happening. Folks, if you're here out here uh, for the uh, Island Living Show, stop by the booth. This is certainly a wonderful new experience, Cabana Bay. We got to go, but I'm going to come see you later. <laughs>